So say, for example, Blanchfield's attempt to takedowns two, three, four times, and she's been able to secure a takedown for a second, but then Andrade scrambled back to her feet, and then she's been able to trip her down again, but Andrade's back to her feet. There's going to be a point when that scrambling ability will run low, and this is where Blanchfield, I feel, can start to take over the fight. And if she's able to secure top position, we know she's really good with the crucifix. She was able to control Molly McCann there. She was able to put uh, Miranda Maverick there for a good period of time, but I also don't think she's going to be able to hold her there for very long. It might be a bit of a shock to the system to fight someone as physically powerful as Andrade. And some of the things that Blanchfield's been able to do against previous opponents, she might not be able to get away with against Andrade. Like, so Blanchfield's ranked number 10 at the moment. She's fighting number three ranked Andrade. If she beats her, she puts herself in some really very, very interesting fights in the next couple of, uh, of outings. And then she, she might find herself in there against Shevchenko. And then it's a bit of a battle of the crucifix to see who gets there first, because of course that's what Shevchenko's good at as well.